everybody, and welcome to another episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mods with me, Cam, and you. I am Seb Ford. Ah, you are a legend in your own right, you I might would argue. say. And the reason I say is because today's episode is all about Apex Legends. Mm. We are going to put Apex Legends into Skyrim using mods. Let's Smart. see what the Nexus has to offer. Uh, there's Apex ENB, oh. and there's Vicus Dickus. <laughs> Kajiti Apex Armory. What's so uh, funny about Bigus Dickus? Uh, that's it. That's all. Doesn't matter, Seb. We'll find a way anyway. Let's go. Seb, is there any mightier legend than Kevin Van Norris? I argue that there isn't, and the reason that he's not been added to Apex Legends already is that he'd be such a game-breaking oh, character that um, that people so would just wouldn't, wouldn't play, you know? Yeah. And everyone would be like, I want to play as Kevin, and I'd be like, shut up, I'm playing as Kevin. And then Kevin um, would be like, silence, both of you! <laughs> I'll destroy you! Yeah, and, and he then the game, the game off the system. <laughs> yeah, that's why... He's not in Apex Legends. But, I can't argue with but that. But don't worry, friends, because using the power of mods, we're going to put him in Apex Legends yeah. or as close as we can. Let's be clear, though. <laughs> there aren't actually any no. Apex mods. No, as we saw there. <laughs> for Skyrim, um, on the Nexus or otherwise. So it took a little bit of uh, creative uh, massaging yes. of existing mods, uh, but I think we've got some pretty compelling ones. I mean, the world is already looking the same. No, it's, it's definitely nothing like the world. But don't worry. I realize, Cam. Yes. I realize. What's that, Sam? We couldn't realistically join an, a game of Apex without dropping in. That's true. That's true. You don't start Apex on the ground. Do ah, you? the dropship. <laughs> okay. And let. Hey, guys, let's jump now. 50 dropships. <laughs> Okay. Right, let, okay. Let's see <laughs> okay, where we're team. gonna drop in. We're dropping in okay. hot. Are we gonna drop into Skyhook? I wonder. Or uh, let's go to uh, Capital City. Uh, uh, I think we might be landing oh, it's, somewhere. It's a good one. Yeah. Any other teams about? No. Near this terrified. bandit camp. Yeah. Let's lots let's of loot in there. I think. Start looting the bandit yeah, camp. We'll, uh, we'll drop in there. Hey ho! Oh, cool. And it's solid like, landing. Did anyone come with us? Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> No, no, no other enemies. we got the place to ourselves. Okay, great drop. Okay, <laughs> okay, so we're in Apex Legends. We've got our legend character, Kevin. One of my favorite Apex Legends, Seb, is Bangalore. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, Kevin's way better. You do play Bangalore a lot. But Bangalore's kind of good. And what I like about Bangalore is when she's under attack, mm -hmm. she can go into double time. Absolutely. She moves real, yeah. real fast. Now, Kevin's never really under attack. No, and nor where? does Kevin really need to get out of a combat situation. No, usually it's He's more getting like, towards people quickly. I think that's probably how we need to think about fact, this. Uh, some volunteers ah, have yeah. wandered out of the wilds. Like, how are does gonna Kevin get to them faster so know. that death can come quicker I don't them. know. They're going to regret doing this. Well, let's find out. So our first uh, ability that we're mm -hmm. going to borrow from Bangalore is double time. And we're going to use that with these fast iron boots. So what mod is this? Uh, this is Boots of Speed Enchantment by Beagle547. Thanks, Beagle. And uh, it adds one of many you can choose when you download the mod. Um, Variants of uh, speedy boots. All right, uh, let's see how fast pick up. they are. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! They are fast. Oh my god, they're so fast. <laughs> Whoa! Ah! Oh, I missed. Oh my god, it's getting to go. Oh my word. Oh, these are excellent. Quick they're double time. So they're so quick. They're so quick. They're so. <laughs> oh! Ouch! That's got add some speed behind it. That's a horror. Come get me. Come up. This guy. I don't think he's noticed you yet. <laughs> he just asked who did this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, death comes A quick. High speed knighting. All right, let's go and find some more wow. enemies to kill. Let's try Sprint. sprinting. Oh! Oh! My <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> it's quite hard to control. That has got to be the scariest thing to see coming towards you. Just like this blow. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Word. And on to the next. This is really going to increase the efficiency yeah. of Kevin's slaughter, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh! Cam, have you, have you ever seen the uh, the television show The Boys? I've not, actually. Okay. No. Well, there's a moment in the uh, first episode involving someone r running at this kind of speed that also involves death. Oh, really? Um, the, oh, this he's is reminding so me of. fast! It's, it's particularly the way when he's sprinting, his... Um, his feet go back to like regular movement no, speed. No, I think it's like you know when you, you know when you're watching like a wheel spinning, yeah, and it get and it goes oh, speeds yeah. up, speeds up, speeds up, and then it looks as if it's going really, really slowly because uh, yeah, your eyes I see can't that. keep it's, up. Yeah, of course, that's what's happening. I there. understand. This is it's that makes Kevin's perfect sense. Kevin's feet are actually moving did 50 you, times faster. Hang on, did you just run over a hill so fast that you got air? I think so. Oh, oh. yes, a little bit. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Oh my goodness, I was trying to figure out if that was like. No. no. Oh, oh yes, yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, I got a bit of air. Oh my god. So it is definitely possible. Right, let's, okay. let's pick a fight here. Hi, oh. friends. <laughs> 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 
try and get... Whoop. Chase me. Whoop. <laughs> come on. Whoop. Come on. Stop come on. trying come on. to hit me. What? What? Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. Whoop. <laughs> hey. I'm over here. <laughs> oh, wow. <A> Bangalore. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like in the game. Now, on the, uh, on the actual mod page, it says, I did notice this, that um, you get a different uh, type of boot depending on like how extreme you want to go. Uh, boots of lesser speed, uh, it gives you a 15% boost. Uh -huh. um, speed basic is 75. Um, of speed enhanced is 107. And Whoa, until you get air, sorry. Whoa. You can totally get air. Let's just show that again yeah. here. Okay, go on. Uh, oh, let me just. Oh, what the hell's going on here? I'll leave him to it. Nope. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm trying to do power punching. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so hard to hit. You'll get one. Got oh, him. he slowed right down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it might be my favorite. It's a uh, kill move in the whole game. It's made so so much he just, more like, ridiculous. Holds your head there. Yeah. Come on. The fact that he's like running around trying to get a swing in and then just like stops dead to How go like. How did I not hit this one? What? 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 Come on, Kevin. Kevin is not okay with this. There okay. you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> get down. <laughs> All right. So air. I was gonna get some air. You ready? Ready for this air? Hey yo! Oh wow, yeah, okay. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it totally counts. Totally gets air. Whoa. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> this is amazing. Mod. I'm I'm gonna suggest we keep this mod. Yeah. Like just in case we ever need to fast. Because anytime we need to get somewhere quickly, this is gonna make life so yeah. much better. Whoa. Oh, in the air, over water as well. He's basically like Jesus. <laughs> Skates <laughs> on water. Oh, Whoa. big jump. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> Landed it. Oh, though. so if you jump, he was just jumping normal height, but you really travel far. Well, once it, once it, I guess, detects you being in the air, then uh, <laughs> straight <laughs> straight into that tree. <laughs> Surprised that tree didn't fall over. Well, that's a fantastic mod, Seb. Welcome to Dragon's Reach, Seb, and it looks like we've been here before. <laughs> I think we might have been because, here. Oh, she's like, did you just notice? Oh, the, Gerda, you've been here for hours. These stinky <laughs> corpses. Oh, wow. Well, well they uh, must have. Uh, they must have just just grown old, old here, I guess. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> everyone just suddenly got old at the same time and Ooh, fell over. That's, that's rough. Rough that's deal. That's weird for you. Okay, yeah. Uh, also, someone yeah. seems to have thrown like gourds <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> this, and green apples. I, I can't say that yeah. we know anything about Kevin's this. this is... Kevin's like, I've never been here nope, before. This is our uh, first time for us. Anyway, the reason we're here is because, not just to show off our boots of speed to the Yarl. Hey, Check Yarly, it out. Pretty that cool you wish boots, you had huh? these boots, huh? Oh, man. They're such good boots. That's right, Yarl. <laughs> no, we're actually here because we need an enchanting table for mod number two. We sure do. Yeah, mod number two is all about Mirage, who is yes. an Apex Legend uh, bonus bonus character that you can get, mm -hmm. and his uh, ability is that he can create holograms of himself. But his ultimate is the ability to go invisible, it is. with distracting holograms all around him. Well, Seb, I'm an idiot, and it's not actually enchanting too, but we need we need to craft. It's all right. You know, when you need to create magical items, one would assume uh, enchanting, but no, we're, of course, we're crafting. Now, Seb, this is one of the, my favorite things before we do this, about what something that's happened to our save game, is Yerlin Greymane is now exclusively naked. Permanude. And I yeah. don't know why. I Why are you naked? I don't know if there's... Also, we... don't use that machine when naked, yeah, buddy. That's so <laughs> that's dangerous. Horrendous. You could trap something. Okay, so using the Skyforge, please. Carefully. There we go. Okay. Jewelry. And here we can see there's a spirit necklace and a spirit ring. Okie dokie. We already have the ne necklace, so let's make the ring. All right. So, yes. wait, wait. Let's read what it says as oh, well. Sorry. Uh, so, sneaking shrouds you in the spirit plane Ooh. and renders you invisible. Wearer is muffled and moves silently. Okay, this so. is almost kind of wraith-like as well, not just Mirage, because she moves into the the void when she uses I her L agree. her L one or Q ability. Yeah, so, so this is kind of halfway between them both. I but like uh, it. It sounds like it might be a little bit more permanent. <laughs> I'm gonna crouch. Hey, and we out of here. Yeah. Whoa, um, man, I. I'm so glad those boots work in Sneak as well, because we are absolutely blitzing it around I know, there. I know, that's cool. So yeah, you know, you're running along, someone's like shooting at you. Oh, and then I'm you out of here. You disappear into the void, and then, and then you come the, right uh, here, and then with you... With the fast iron boots. Hey! Done. Oh man, Kevin is going to kick the ass of any Apex Legends at this point already. That's, it's, and this is I mean, he always was going to, but now he's still got only, these extra powers. There's only two mods in as well. So that was the ring. Let's, uh, we just waited for daytime, and now let's put the necklace on as well, mm -hmm. and take the ring off just to show it does the same thing. 
Uh, yep. It still makes it you zoom into first makes person you zoom first. In. There you go. Amazing. So, Seb, you know, now we have this ability, what good are we going to use it We're for? We're detected. How are we, how are we detected? I guess it's kind of accurate because when you go into the void as Wraith, for example, you, you, you do can leave a trail. You leave a trail. Yeah. So maybe this is Kevin's trail. Go on, pickpocket him. But I'm still invisible. Take, take I'm going to take his baked potatoes. I'll actually. take it. Take, but, take uh, the... we, And his key to his house. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's just so dark. Okay. Well. Ha ha! I have your key. Thanks on you, fool. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do about it. Just throw it at his feet. Oh, you can't drop it. <laughs> oh. Throw his baked potatoes at okay. him. Yes. Ha! There look. you go. It's your baked potatoes, but they're on the floor. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah. uh, let's do a bit of crouching. Don't tell anyone, cow. All right, this guard, he's zooming up. Okay. Clothes. Oh, no. <laughs> Somehow he detected me. Um, uh, persuade. Persuade him. <laughs> nah, pickpocket him again. That's amazing. Take his armor. Okay, okay. Well, I, t I took the clothes he was holding. Ah, uh, he's taking his grilled leeks. Oh, he didn't notice. It's only our leeks now. Well, I uh, I don't fully understand the the invisibility aspect of this because it seems to not be that effective. I think the reason we're successfully pickpocketing these guys is largely because we are at level 100 sneak. What if we use both at the same time? Oh yeah. All right, both on. Double invis. Can we pickpocket this It does guy? seem to do the effect twice, yeah. A potion of vigorous healing. Ooh. Oh, no. He oh, he's like that. mad. Oh, he's mad. I'm sorry. You'll never catch me. These mods combine really well <laughs> to make you the ultimate thief. All right, let's go into mod number three. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was about to do an intro to mod number three, you <laughs> cheeky saber cat. But I want to do it. Okay. Punch him. Okay, fine. It's your it's your mod intro. What are you going to say? It's must right. It's mod number three. Oh, yeah, yeah, very one, good. Two, yeah. Oh. Three. Excellent. Yeah, mod number three. Punching cats. No. Exactly. Yeah, that's okay. On to mod number four. <laughs> no, so mod number three is with our good pal Octane. That's right. Now, what can Octane do, Seb? Well, apart from being a, uh, a sprinter. Well, so we've already got that. We we've kind of uh, ticked that box him. as well. We don't need him for that. Um, Octane's ultimate ability allows him to throw down a jump pad oh, yes. and get some height and advantageous positioning That's on the true. other legends. Now, there there is no such thing as jump pads in Skyrim, but what we have got is a mod that's going to do something very sim similar. But we are going to have to remove, for now, our boots. And I am really speed. sad about it. So I'm enjoying them. But let's say so long, even, to Fast Iron Boots and hello to Boots of Bounce. And Whoa. we are met with our first menu. Normal. Two times normal, three times normal, mountain so climber, or hulk. You also receive no damage from falling, which is oh, also nice. accurate to Apex yeah, otherwise Legends. You just jump. That's true. Yeah. Otherwise, you just jump up high and then land and die. Yeah. Take it for a spin. Okay. Are you ready, Kevin? Hey. Okay. Ah, that's, that's kind of like jump pad height, actually. I would say that's so exactly you're, jump you're pad height. You're running along and you're like, and, jump pad. And I would also counter argue that that is not uh, hulk height. No. I've seen the Hulk jump. Not IRL, but like, <laughs> I've, I've seen the Hulk jump. And he gets some height. You know what? It's pretty much exactly the same height as this pillar. Yeah? So I understand, <clears throat> guys, what you're thinking. Like, if I wanted to be Octane yeah. in-game, in Skyrim, then I have to choose between either the speed or the jumping. Yeah. And we say... No! Never. You'd be wrong. We can have both. Now, there's no way to wear two pairs of boots. Believe me, I've tried. Mm. IRL. All right, so let's say temporarily farewell to the boots of bounce. Farewell, boots of bounce. Put back on the fast iron boots. Hello, fast Hello. iron boots. Hello. And let's go over to magic because if we go into our spells, we can find bounce settings, settings which, which is right here. there. So, if, and then if we cast that, mm -hmm. uh, ooh, we have the same options. Okay. So back to high speed. Okay, you ready? Yeah. We're running. Yeah. And let's jump. Octane jump. Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty good. I love that we didn't even bother looking at the 2x, 3x uh, jump height. Oh, it's this is really good. Straight to Hulk. This really gets you around the map. <laughs> wow. <laughs> can we jump a mammoth? We can jump a easily. mammoth easily. I would say many <laughs> mammoths. Yeah. Let's jump it again. <laughs> <laughs> making a mockery of you. This is excellent. All right, Ultimate Apex Legend right here. So this mod is uh, Jump Power Increase. It's by uh, Nogar321. 
and this is definitely not what it was meant for. No. But man, is it a I lot better when combined with this mod. The game's like struggling Oof. to keep up. Like, <laughs> I'm loading in. Must load. Must load detail. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> Time for mod number four, Seb, mm. and this mod is all going to be about one of my favourite characters. Ah, uh, yes, one of your mains. Yeah, Wraith. Our good pal Wraith. So yeah. Wraith's ability, she's one of the base characters, uh, yeah. she has the ability to uh, quickly dip into the void, Which like we've we talked about already. Before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but her other ability, her, uh, her ultimate ability, is that she can set a portal that other characters can go through, including herself. Yes. So it doesn't last forever, but she can kind of set one at one point, set one at another, so you can jump back to safety or jump into uh, a fight. If only Kevin could do that. He well, can. no, he can! Oh, yes, he can. If we go into magic, you will notice, in fact, I favorited these. Mm -hmm. We've got light portal, mm -hmm. and we've got dark portal. Perfect. No. They, they, they're exactly what we need. Let's say we want to pick a fight with this lad, yeah. but we're a bit worried that we might want to di di <laughs> dodge, dub, dip, <laughs> dive, and dodge. Use your words, Cameron. <laughs> We might want to dip out of the fight. Not that Kem's ever going to want to run away, but just in case. Yeah. So we're going to put a portal back here, our escape. Okay. So we might want to. Yeah. So before we go into the fight, we Let's go say like, we oh, didn't here's have our the retreat. boots of speed. That's that's okay. where we're going to come back. Mm -hmm. And now. And then we run into the fight. Yeah. And that's before we get to the fight. Portal. We're charging up that portal. You wait there. Portal there. Okay. Okay. And now, get our get our weapon. Uh, Kem Van Nord's sword. Obviously. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, okay. Whoa, oh we very carefully try and navigate oh, our way. Oh, this is this is almost too much for Kevin. Oh, uh, well. let's run away and crash the game. <laughs> no, no, it just need a little bit of it's loading. A little bit of load. I'm just gonna take off the boots because it's all a bit too this fast. Is... Okay, we're back okay. barefoot again. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's like a slug. Oh, he is. Like a powerful back mighty slug. Back in the fight. Back in the fight. Ah. Oh. Now. Oh. Oh let's well. See okay. If we can take this. This bandit thug. If you can pick him up. And Go on, him. Gra can you grab his head? Oh, I'm trying to. Okay, just gonna give you a little fuss. Oh, oh, the head missed. didn't go, go in. So I wonder if we can encourage this lad to get in the portal. Hey. This guy looks a little right. bit lighter, let's so maybe we him. can. Let's um, launch him out the door first. Oh, oh say, yeah, yeah. Awesome, okay, in, right? come on. So line it up, line okay, it up. Line it up, and. Oh. I tell you, someone just popped through it. Yeah, that guy went. Oh, yeah, as soon as he stood up, he went through. Huh? He's gone. There yes, he is. there he is. It totally works. Go on. Back through with you. <laughs> so in theory, that's cool. Here's a question, Cam. Seb, leave uh, one of the portals here and let's fast travel somewhere else. Drop ah, the other portal. Will right. it work across country? Do you want to? Do you want to fast travel or do you want to travel fast? I obviously want to travel fast. Yes, run, speedy Kevin. Whoop. Let me know when you want me to place the dark portal. Well, I'm wondering if you if we should place it. Um, yeah, uh, I'd, rather, I'd die. rather die. We got plans. If we should place the other portal inside a building. Is there any buildings around here? I'm sure there are. Oh, inside well, here. Oh. Navigating caves with these boots. Oh my word, this is weird. Oh, you know, you make your way again. back out. Is this it? Easy to get turned around. Oh my oh. god, Kevin. Come on, you got this. All right, let's say we want to come back and visit this this guy because he's our good friend, the Forsworn man. Oh, and he's, he's out of here. Away. He's that's really good actually. We can just transport people. Are these there. guys going? Push him back. See if you can like block him backwards. No need to when I can do this. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, and we. I think we're we in went through well. too. We've... Are we gonna go back? Yes. We are. Yes. Okay. Are they here? It totally works. You Where's... can just place portals. They... Yes, and he's here. There he is. Like... Can you fire the arrow and catch up with it? <laughs> Run. <laughs> I pretty much had it. All right. Okay. We need a flat plane for this test. Like aim for the tree over there and just like sprint. Okay. Oh, almost. It's, you're pretty much there. All right, so we've established the speed is that of an arrow drawn yeah. by Kevin. I really want to know if we can shoot whoops, <laughs> shoot <laughs> portals like, sorry, shoot arrows through the portals like to shoot this guy. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. Oh, he just went through. Well, hopefully there's just loads of arrows in the ground when we get there. All right. What? What the hell? Okay. Kevin's dropping in. All right, Kevin. Yeah, time for another game. Apparently, Kevin wanted you to drop in. I have no idea why. Okay. We did go through at some speed. Can I jump into it? Are we gonna? F yes. Yes. Okay. Apparently, if you jump into it, you launch. You get absolutely slung. That's amazing. We've just invented a jump pad. This is how you start Apex Legends in Skyrim. 
Okay, it's time for mod number five. Um, These guys know start. about it. By dodging arrows. Yeah. Hey, a little left, right, left, right. Now, I feel like we've given Kevin a lot of movement abilities and now uh, something really functional with the portals, but mm -hmm. we haven't given him any yet is any, like, attacks. Any, yeah. Any violence. I mean, he's got plenty of violence, but he might want some more. Now, in order to uh, take these guys on, I think we should take some inspiration from uh, Gibraltar, who's yes. got one of the more powerful offensive ultimates in the game. Yeah, he calls down a hail Barrage. of um, of explosives from the sky. Yeah. And yeah, we basically want that. These are spells that are that are kind of similar. Um, so the first one we're gonna try does this. It's just a big Whoa. old area of effect explosion. Let's spawn in a bunch of guards down here. Here we go. Thankfully, they're uh, all grouping together. They're all huddling. Yeah. Well, the, yes, an the I answer would is all say of them. that that's pretty <laughs> effective. <laughs> that sad guy sliding down the stairs. Bring in more. Oh my! What if I'm in the middle of it? Is it gonna hurt me? No. You you are hurt though. It's so powerful. It hurt us through God mode. Wow. That's amazing. I, this is insane. I mean, I would say it's slightly different to Gibraltar's actual ultimate, which is like many missiles kind yeah. of dropping out of the sky and, and detonating on impact. Yeah. Um, as opposed to Bangalore's one, which is many missiles landing, well, hanging out, yeah, and yeah. then blowing up. So this is one spell of many, oh, many, yes. many, many. It sure is. From a mod called Fendrix Magic Evolved. It's obviously by Fendrix. Yeah. Um, it is a huge spell, um, tome. Uh, Collection. Uh, collection, yeah. yeah. If I, you've I, not used this before and, and you want to add some more spells to Skyrim, yeah. this is the mod to do. Like, it's really, really great. So this mod adds 310 wow, plus new spells. Wow, okay. That's incredible. Which is insane. And this insanely powerful it. one is just one. It is master level, I believe. Mm. Now, Seb, we're going to need some more volunteers to show off this the, the second ultimate ability we're going to try here. Now, this next oh. one is kind of a bit like Bangalore's in the fact that there's multiple hits. Let's have a look. And... Ah. Whoa! It's kind Whoa. of delayed as well. That's, That's awesome. really good. So you need to hit an enemy with it. I see. Oh. Right oh. in the chest. So he's okay for now. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring in some more bandits. Yeah, just, uh, just not enough of them. Yeah. Oh, well, they're going to instantly die. I think this Kevin might be... can just jump away like that. Oh, yeah. it's really good. Uh, super effective. It's a rolling thunder. Whoa! <laughs> and, and kill your friends. Get... Oh, oh yeah, you get I, I got yeah. So it's it. not got the, as big of an area of effect as the uh, Gibraltar one. No, you're right. Let's I just... guess at the moment Kevin is a little bit too powerful, and he's right. he's this one shotting. Yeah, but he's going to bounce guys. off the wall and then stay close to the corpse. And then... Yeah, that yeah, gets them all. And then if you just can't be bothered, there's just too many. Just one giant shockwave. Which is, that's insane. That's fantastic. That's, that is, if ever there were a Kevin spell, that's it. Just like, brrrr, just yeah. irradiate. I love this guy's still going for it. Oops, missed. Oh, he, no. Oh, over the fence you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what I love about it is it's so Kevin because like he kills him and then has a little celebration yeah. of explosions. Uh, little body yeah. fireworks. Uh, I want to yeah. try this. We're surrounded by chickens. The great thing about this one, I don't even need to aim it. Well, there are these extra bandits that might <laughs> a little. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it's the ultimate way to activate the chickens, wow. actually, because it gets them all guaranteed. Oh yeah. Because usually, you know, we're doing like a chain reaction. The this chickens might be the also um, <laughs> like bloody feet. The chickens tend to kind of uh, dissipate. Yeah. As well, they go. let's let's bring in more. All right, here we go. They're starting to fly. They're starting to get away. Cast a spell. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Straight to crash. <laughs> no messing around there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The, the game didn't even think like, oh, I think maybe I'll crash. It was just ah. like, absolutely not. No, done. <laughs> oh, I'm out of here. Well, and that is really the key of, of Kevin as an Apex Legend. You know, we did say you put yep. him in Apex and he's going to delete the game. Yeah. You try to put too many abilities in Skyrim and he breaks the game. Yeah, he'd be the kind of uh, champion that can only like drop in one of, you know, if, they, of all 60 players in a single game, yeah. there can be only one, Kevin. He definitely is the ultimate legend.
Well, Seb, that we was made a solid crash. That was that was a great crash, and Kevin is the ultimate legend. And now it's time to consider some other legends. Yeah, all of you guys. Yeah, and we have some questions that you've sent in, and some comments as well. Mm-hmm. So, Seb, do you want to kick us off? I'd love to kick it off. I'd like to kick it off by saying, please send in more questions and comments oh, yes. all the time. Uh, that isn't question or comment number one. That one okay, that is just from fact. you. That is no, that came me. From, that came from viewer. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> participants. Seb Ready, Seb, go. <laughs> um, from the coworkers. Ah, so I presume okay. this is from two people I or more. So. Uh, good to hear you're going to be branching out and doing some other games. Mm-hmm. Are there going to be any other moddable games like Fallout 4 ah. or like Mountain Blade? Even if it were just for a live stream, I think it'd be fun seeing that. Definitely. I mean, I think the yeah. plan is to take it one step at a time. So if you're not aware, we've started mm-hmm. doing Apex on our channel as well. Um, we Hence did a live stream. The episode. Indeed. We did, we did a live stream uh, a few days ago mm-hmm. from recording this. So when you watch this, it will have been about a week ago. But uh, and there's also going to be putting a VOD of that on the channel, which might already be there depending mm-hmm. on the time. I don't know. Time's difficult, all I right? I guess what Cam the is point is trying to say is that we play Skyrim and Apex. That's true. And Apex w- Luncheons is the name of the show. It's great. That's it- my mic. <laughs> It'd be good to just, uh, I think, get a few more episodes of uh, of Skyrim and Apex yeah. up onto the channel first. I know it has been so long since we've been doing some good Skyrim content. So it's, You know what I'm excited yeah. about? is cyberpunk oh man. maybe we'll play some cyberpunk oh man and well, maybe there'll be cyberpunk mods because there were witcher mods yeah that would make sense um cool. man i just really want to play cyberpunk yeah that too yeah, yeah. so the plan is basically we want to see us do by, that on the channel <laughs> by opening up to apex we're hoping that this will be the start where we kind of slowly phase in a whole lot of different games mm-hmm. like basically whatever people really want to watch because yeah. we, we want to make the channel more part of what we do obviously we're still running double jump that's still our main job but we want yeah. to fold cam and seb into that that's why also we're going to have zach and sam mm-hmm. uh, the, the other guys here at double jump on the camera and um, on the apex show yeah and other shows I too think they thoroughly enjoyed so it. we're just going to see how it goes but mm-hmm. pretty much we're up for anything exactly is the to that and question. uh yeah specifically to modding of yeah. course you know we love modding it's it's it was our bread and butter it's what we grew up doing professionally and <laughs> we've got such <laughs> weird careers really yeah. really weird careers and uh you know all you need to do is hop over over to like um uh, Nexus mods and see how, how many, many games, games oh my goodness. So are many. moddable. Even if you just go over to like ENB dev um, mm-hmm. to go and get mm-hmm. the ENB files you need to to do um, Skyrim Special Edition, you can see how many EMBs he's got for different games. Madness. It, like, it's yeah, a wonderful world do. out there. So yes, we will definitely be branching out. Yeah. Okay, next next one. I'll take this. This mm-hmm. is from Bugsy Lee. And yeah. Bugsy Lee is kind of on the same theme. He said, just got back into Apex. So pumped, to be honest. Love the game and the lore. Yeah. Completely agree. In fact, Bugsy was watching. I remember him from the, from the was. comment thread yesterday. They were. Yesterday. We don't know. They, that's a good point, <laughs> actually. Uh, Bugsy was watching, and Bugsy said... Um, that they, you know, they were loving Apex and were commenting away, talking about their favorite guns, mm-hmm. and that's great. We're really because it's not an obvious transition from Skyrim to Apex, but it's the only connection is we love them both. And what if you're like, if you never played Apex and you're thinking, ah, oh, it's just a battle royale. I mean, it is a battle royale game, but as Bugsy correctly points out, the lore and the story and the humor are just like so good. Yeah, they kind of doubled down for this season four, which came out mm. like um, yesterday, I guess, yeah. um, with uh, some really like dark trailers, and we're like, oh, okay, yeah, it's taking okay. a different change but yeah. like for me like the one you have to compare it to in my mind is like PUBG and that's very like serious men with guns and then, Apex, and then on the other side you've got like Fortnite which is just like, yeah, like a little bit crazy too, game of, for craziness you know yeah. like it's mad but then Apex has got like it's got some wildness in there but it's it's really grounded in a, yeah. in a really fantastic competitive game anywho this game is that. sorry this game this video is not brought it's not up. about Apex no this it's not I mean, we're EA's, just big fans EA has given us nothing El Zilto. come on EA yeah um, but anyway, uh, that was from Bugsy Lee. Mm-hmm. Next comment, Sebastian. Uh, from Gregory Nielsen, who says, okay. I'm really liking your triumphant return. I didn't realize it was triumphant. I'm uh, glad to hear that. Of course, all of our returns are triumphant. <laughs> every time. Every single one. <laughs> We've had so many That's of why them. we keep having them. Oh, yeah, they're just so tri- so I good. Just need another triumph. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's so good to have consistent content oh, from no. you guys after the last things. few years. Since you guys are going to be trying new games, have you considered trying any of the From Software ah, games? Ah, okay. Yeah. Or going. if you guys have played them already, okay. then why Sorry. not do a little short of your favorite mods slash games? I'd love to see mm. Sash here, both of your thoughts on their games. And they're some of my as, all-time favorites. As cool. As some of their all-time yeah. Favorites. yeah. So that's a really good question. I mean, we're so if you're not familiar with from software games or games like Dark Souls, Demon mm. Souls, Bloodborne, the bl- and yeah. now uh, there's Sekiro. Well yeah, Sekiro. Well, the, basically there's yeah. incredibly difficult, difficult games. games. Now, as you mm. know, we're really good at games. Yes. 
Uh, but no, I, we don't really play from software games. Uh, I did play um, a, a fair oh, bit of Bloodborne. Oh, did you? Um, okay. But that's probably the only one. I know it's not the, you know, famously the hardest of all yeah. of them. Uh, I've not played any oh. Sekiro. All I did sit and watch my mm. wife fail to uh, beat a boss for about seven hours. Yeah, the, the, I'll yeah. be honest. Like I'm, I'm not very good at those games, yeah. and and they the games are they're so hard. Yeah. But if you love watching those games, yeah. we're actually good friends with the channel RKG, mm. which is Rory Krupa and Gav, hence the name of the channel. And um, we let's just say we've noticed our Skyrim uh, kind of Sekiro crossover potential. And we're planning to have them on this very show. Yeah. At some point in the also, short Also, I would future. say that while we also have noticed it, definitely credit to one of the commenters from a couple of weeks ago saying, have you considered the Sekiro mod? Oh, yes, true. So, no, that's a good point. That's yeah. a good point. I say we've noticed it. I mean, we noticed someone else mentioned this idea. Guys, have you considered um, that? That's a great idea I just had. You know what I just, <laughs> you know what I just noticed, Seb? This comment. Okay, okay yeah. So there's, there's yeah. basically a bunch of uh, Sekiro mods with, we're going to do an episode, yeah. And so we're going to try and have one of the guys from RKG on. Absolutely, get those spoke, guys spoke on. to them, yeah, a couple of days ago. They Make sure really they were keen. good and drunk. Agreed, some stuff they can't take yeah. back. Exactly, got good. that contract signed. Yeah. So hopefully that'll be happening. So mm -hmm. look forward to that. Um, next comment is from Coyote. Yes. And they say the only problem with you guys being back is it makes me want to play Skyrim again. And there goes another two hundred hours, hours, two hundred hours mm -hmm. of my life. Uh, you forgot to mention that it's a triumph and return. Exactly. Uh, not. Being and also, back. Yeah. what is life if it's not spent playing Skyrim and modding it? Yeah. I don't know. Not a life I want. Two hundred hours back in on mods. That's fine. I yeah, think that's, that's time that, well spent. yeah. That yeah, is yeah. time well spent. I don't want to know um, how many hours I spent in this game. Anyway. I mean, we'd have to add it up between the PCs and oh, no. uh, between the console play. It's and a the lot. Various Steam accounts. Anyway, does um, it count? Time spent like back and forth modding, definitely checking and going. Definitely. Well, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Back it up. Yep. Okay, uh, next comment. Final uh, comment. Yeah, from uh, Skylar Grimm who says, mm. "Okay, so outside Xbox slash outside Extra yes. made a song about their D and D adventures. They did. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's good. literally everyone else in the world." If you haven't seen it, it's on YouTube. Go and check it out, um, mm -hmm. especially if you're into D&D &D because you'll totally get the references. Yeah. Um, how great would it be if uh, Cam and Seb ever did a Skyrim-related uh, song? Oh, yeah. Brackets, I literally never let go of the fact that you guys harmonize so well. Uh, Thanks, uh, Skylar. Um, that's, that's kind of you to say. When we're not just doing it off the cuff, sat here we are better <laughs> yes that's uh, true that's true i, I hope so anyway yeah, yeah um, but better. uh oh yeah maybe we will we could do a song about we kevin totally could. we should do a song about kevin yeah let's we'll think on that one yeah, yeah. that's a good okay. idea skylar seb i just had a great idea <laughs> we <should laughs> this do, is totally my idea i just idea. realized something yeah we should do a skyrim song we should yeah that's just brilliant. like those outside extra guys yeah nice. um, a song about kevin there's a lot to be said about yeah. him well we can call it the something about kevin which is also oh, to a, the tune of something about Mary. No, I mean because it was like a famous book slash Kevin. film called "There's Something About Kevin." Oh, is that? Isn't there? It's, no, it's there? no, sorry. No, Are it's you not. Thinking? You're, you're correct. It's we need to talk about Kevin. Is that right? I can't remember. <laughs> we'll make a reference. It's fine. It'll be great. Okay, great, great comments, Skylar Grimm. Yes. And Seb, that brings us to the end of our. Apex slash Skyrim crossover, yeah. crossover episode. Uh, one question I've got for you then, Cam. You didn't, you didn't write it in. I didn't write it in. I'm sorry. I'm shoehorning this in. You're just going to verbally say it? What is this? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it, on, it's the power this I get. This is the though. one part of the show that's not for us. No. Seb, and you're taking it. Uh, yeah, it's mine now. Sorry. Go on, then. Sorry. Community, I'm a member. Uh, it's fine. Go on, then. Um, so, Cam, one. one thing we'd never covered in the, uh, in the episode, though, was if Kevin were a character in Apex Legends. Okay. I'm with you uh, what would be their passive? Oh yes. Okay. What would be their Q? Okay. Uh, Q okay. being okay. their sort of like quick, yeah. uh, you know, uh, ability. Quick ability, yeah. And what would be his ultimate? Okay. So passive, mm -hmm. uh, automatically collecting spines. Okay. As he as he <laughs> runs around, just fills up fills up with spines. So he so his looting, like if he goes up to a loot. Box. No, it just goes near a person. All oh, right, Look, spine comes out. <laughs> yeah, so they, they suddenly they can't. Yeah. They're a little so bit bendy. You need to just okay, run, okay. run past an enemy, and you have the spine. All right, spine, got okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what's their so, like, like quick Q, ability? Yeah. Uh, what would be Kevin's quick ability? Um, I think maybe, maybe like spawning a chicken, spawning explosive chickens, maybe. Yeah, I think that would probably be it's it. Like, you hit, you, hit, you hit Q or L1, there's something you've got a ring of exploding chickens around you yeah. that fly at your enemies and explode. Yeah, all right, so 
uh, chicken. Well, so he just like hurls the one, and then he just got to get a pot shot at it. Yeah. Okay. And, and uh, I know his ultimate is. Okay. His ultimate just takes you to the victory screen. <laughs> just casts his ultimate, and you've won. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's easy. <laughs> Ultimate is he suddenly gathers everyone there and just with one giant swipe lops heads. Yeah, and then it's victory. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I there think that go. works. That's yeah. his abilities. Good okay. question. Good question. So, uh, ready, Sebi, go. So, Thanks wait, no, no, I in. believe that's from uh, uh, at Respawn. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wants to know. Don't know why. Hi, Respawn. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. That was a, that was a good joke. Uh, Thank you. Brilliant. Well, thanks very much for watching, everybody. Yeah. We'll be back soon with more videos, more Skyrim, more mods, mm -hmm. and some Apex. We'll Absolutely. see you soon.